Hello, everybody. I see a lot of names of here, people I recognize. So that makes me feel very comfortable. So hi, Nigel. Hello, Daniel. Hello, John Boyd. And welcome to Marion and Katie. We might have more people joining us. I know we had more people signing in, but uh, many people that sign in don't mean that they'll always come. So as Kelly told you, my name is Beth Kramer, and I'm a librarian here at Appalachian State. Uh, plus, I'm a lecturer in the Languages, Literatures, and Cultures Department, where I teach one French class. This webinar is for two of our online, online language learning resources, uh, Mango and Pronunciator. So for me personally, I love these resources because I have a love of both travel and languages, and I really enjoy helping other people pursue both. As Kelly said, also, if any time you have questions or comments for me, please type them in the text box, and I will try to monitor them as they arise. I will also reserve some time at the end of the session for question and answer. And saying that, let me go ahead and make sure I have the chat box open. Okay. Uh, so Mango is an interactive language learning tool, and it's available both as a computer program and as an app that's available for your personal devices, such as smartphone or tablets. Mango will help you acquire vocabulary. It does a great job of improving your pronunciation and your grammar. Plus, it also provides interesting cultural information about the places the language is spoken. It's self-paced, so you can go as slowly or quickly as you want. And there are currently 72 languages available via Mango, including English. I find it very easy to use. I think it's entertaining, particularly the movies that are available. And it can help you prepare for your travel, or you can also use it to review for your language courses. To locate Mango, you can begin at the library homepage. And there are numerous ways to access Mango, but the easiest might be to just go here to the All Article Database link right under Find Information. At this point, you can go directly to the alphabetical listing by the name of database. So in this case, I'll click on M for Mango, which taking me to the alphabetical listing and click on Mango to go directly to the Mango login screen. And at this point, you'll have the option of either jumping directly into guest access or you can log in, or if you don't already have an account, you can create an account. By clicking on guest access, you can go directly to Mango without setting up an account, so it's not necessary. You'll have the full level of access that you do with a login. The only difference is that you will not be able to track your progress from session to session. So I can work on Mango today, and when I'm done, if I go ahead and log out of Mango, I cannot go back into the program where I finished my work today. If you do want to keep track of your progress, you can create a profile by coming here to the left-hand side of the screen and click Create a Profile right here. And it's easy. It only takes a few minutes. I have my account already set up, but if you'd like to go ahead and sign up yourself, all you need to do is include your name, your email address, and a password. Okay. So in the meantime, is there anybody who would be willing to share your upcoming travel plans or why you are wanting to learn another language? And I don't know if we have the ability to unmute your mic so you can just talk to us all. Because I think since this is a language program, that would probably be best or feel free to use the chat box. Everybody's been unmuted. Well, since nobody's jumping in, I'll jump in. I'm going to Thailand over um, the break in December. What a coincidence. No. I'm going to Thailand. No way. <laughs> that is amazing, you guys. Wow. Where are you totally going? stole my story. <laughs> Anybody else travels or just wanting to uh, be prepared for your next international travel? I want to relearn French. 
Oui, bien. Prenez ma classe de français. Come to my French class, Nigel. All right. That sounded like Spanish to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was told I speak French with a Spanish accent. And I don't oh, know. okay. <laughs> okay. So another reason I use um, Mango myself is that it allows me to improve my pronunciation of French using some of the titles I'm going to show you. So I don't sound like I'm speaking cat Spanish. And so here we have um, from Katie, I teach Spanish as an adjunct at Mayland Community College and always looking for new ways to expand my language learning. Thank you, Katie. And here I always go, I, I attended five classes last week to uh, inform the students within that class about the language learning resources we had at the library to help them beyond their coursework. So, okay, well, thanks everybody. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'm going to log in. I am a Mango user, so what you see here is my dashboard with my recent Mango language activities. You can see that I began two different French units, one for conversations and one for wine and cheese. And then I've also uh, just begun the most basic of Thai. But to begin, I'm going to go ahead and get out of my dashboard, and I'm going to come here to the menu on the left. I'm going to select Languages and walk you through a program. The screen opens with some icons of the most popular languages in Mango. But if you want a full list of the languages available, you just come up here and you click on this All Languages. And it brings up a list of all languages available. Uh, some of the more interesting languages to me that I wanted to note with you is they do have Arabic, but they have Arabic for four different geographical languages throughout the world. They also have Shakespearean English, which I really want to check out. Um, they have Cherokee, very important for this region, and then Pirate, which is extremely popular for uh, advertising mango. At the top of the screen, You'll find that in addition to this list of languages, you can also select to learn English in a wide variety of first languages. So say if you're Armenian, you can be guided through the Mango English language program in your native language. And as a librarian, I can imagine that this would be a tremendous resource at public libraries that have a strong multicultural population with recent residents that uh, are needing to learn or improve their language skills, or at any college or university, or even K through 12, that has a large TOEFL population of people uh, learning English in order to pass exams or just to improve their English in their new home. You can also select here to view the specialty courses available for Mango. These are specific conversation topics, so for example, I head down, say you're interested in doing a romance tour of Europe. You can learn how to speak romance in Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, and French. <laughs> Something else that uh, was of interest <laughs> <laughs> was, uh, I think this one's great. I wish they had this for all languages, and how to text in Spanish. Mm. So at this point, I'm going to choose one of the more popular languages. You guessed it, French, and walk you through the program. So since I've already worked in this module, by picking Unit 1, Chapter 1, I could continue my progress by clicking on the Resume Learning button here at the top. And it'll pick up where I left off last time I was using this unit chapter. I also have the option of gauging my existing knowledge of French by taking a short placement test, or I can even do the more in-depth course assessment. And this is really for use after you've taken the unit one. But if you take the course assessment at the beginning and you pass with flying colors, you probably know that you can head on into unit two. So here, I'm going to begin with Unit 1, Building the Basics. And from the screen, you see the units are broken down into chapters. 
You can choose whichever unit is best going to suit your needs. So say if I'm going to France and I'm very concerned about being able to find my way and to understand people's directions, I can choose chapter four, getting around. I don't need to do them in order. Or if I'm planning on completing the entire unit, I can just go and begin with chapter one. Chapter one, and then once you get into them, you see that they're broken down into lessons. Yeah. Starting at the beginning of this, each chapter begins with conversation goals and grammar goals. And this gives you a preview of what you'll be learning. The pages are easily navigated with the help of the right and left arrows. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the first page, and then will immediately start talking to us. Even if it seems hard now, you'll learn to have conversations like this easily by the end of the chapter. Tiens, bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et vous? Très bien, merci. Bon, à tout à l'heure. Oui, au revoir. À tout à l'heure. So each sentence of this conversation, this short conversation, we are hearing it in French, but we're also seeing it in English translation. Any of the phrases that you'd like to repeat, all you need to do is hit the icon Maybe here to the right to hear only that section, or you can hit the replay button and the entire screen will play again. The way to say, oh, good morning, how are you, is to literally say, hold it, good morning, how's it going, which is, Tiens, bonjour, ça va? Going through this page, you'll see that we have um, the written English followed by the French. Your English translation can be either the understood or, as she was saying in her introduction, the literal translation of the French. You'll also notice that Mango has what they call semantic color mapping, and that the words in English are the same color as the corresponding phrase in French. The orange words, good morning, corresponding to the French word, bonjour. If you wish, you can hover over the words in French and you can see the phonetic spelling. Or you can click on the word itself so, so. to hear its pronunciation. Here you can also hit the replay button and replay the entire segment, or you can click on the speaker button to only hear the practice sentence at conversational Tiens, speed. Bonjour, ça va? Tiens, bonjour, ça va? So a great feature of Mango and something that I use is the ability to record your voice and compare it with the pronunciation of a native speaker. So let me demonstrate. I'm wanting to compare my pronunciation of this phrase the sentence with the native speaker. So I click on the microphone image. I make sure to allow access to my computer microphone. I listen to him one more time. And then after I listen to him, I'm going to click on the microphone image one time repeat his phrase, and then click on the microphone to end my section. So listening to him one more time. Tiens, bonjour, ça va? And then repeating. Tiens, bonjour, ça va? I drag my graph to match his, and then I can play both at the same time. Tiens, bonjour, ça va? And trust me, there's nothing worse than hearing a recording of your own voice. <laughs> Okay. Um, as you progress through the screens, Mango also provides some review lessons. This is how you say, good morning. Bonjour. What's the way to say, good morning? So here, the review screen, you answer, bonjour. Or if you don't know, you can click on the I bonjour. and go straight to the answer. You can also do a voice comparison if you'd like, and I'll spare you that. The way to, okay. Tiens, 
is a colloquial way to express a slight surprise and comes from the verb to hold. Tenir. Many expressions in French wouldn't mean much when literally translated. For instance, ah, tiens, ça va? translates to, oh, hi there, how are you? We don't actually ask the person to hold anything. So in interspersed among the pages are these cultural notes that um, I'm thinking provide a glimpse into French life and its language, some of the idioms, and other things that um, inform your understanding of both the French and the French language. Another feature in Mango that I love is the availability of movies in many languages. So going back to the Mango Languages screen, I can either go to the All Movies tab here on the right, and this will give me an inclusive list of all movies available, uh, so regardless of the language, or I can select a language, and in this example, French, and see if films are available. In French, there's two films available, La Moustache and Around a Small Mountain. All the films are listed with an age-appropriate rating. So this is M M13 plus and M18 plus. And by clicking on more information about the film, you'll see information such as the parental advisory, uh, the year that it was uh, produced, the genre of the film, director, cast, and a synopsis of the film itself. You have options when watching the films in the movie mode. You can watch a film all the way through. So if you select movie mode and go to next, choose subtitles, you can select captions or subtitles for the film. So you can select English, you can select French, or you can select both. You can also select none. For many language learners, the option of including both the English and the French titles, it helps with reading and also your listening comprehension. And it's, this isn't an option that's available through most movie subscription channels such as Netflix or with DVDs. In addition to this mode of movie mode, you can also go to the engage mode. In this mode, you can work through the film line by line, scene by scene. You can see the script in both French and English with an accompanying list of words that you may encounter. You can replay the dialogue as needed. Here, you can get some preparation. Then you can view the scene. After you've viewed the scene, you can go to the follow-up which again takes you through line by line. And this time you will see the short clip accompanied by both the French and the English and you can watch it as many times as needed. Okay. And one more thing, you just finish up with viewing the scene one more time before it comes to the scene end. And at any of the time, you say you get tired of looking at the movie in this slow engage mode, you can just switch to movie mode and watch the film all the way through. So back at the Mango homepage, if I can get there, excuse me, here we go. Well, a few more features that I'm going to talk to you about is the translate feature here at the top right hand corner. So if you had a phrase, uh, in French that you didn't remember what it meant and you heard it for some reason and you wanted to translate it into English. This basically is um, powered by Google Translate. So it's exactly what the same type of translation you would do in Google. And on the bar menu on the left, another cool thing about Mango is that you can gauge your activity as you progress with, through the uh, lessons. You can see how many times I actually was on Mango 
This can also be downloaded as a CSV file. Say if you're doing this as part of a speaking group or a class, you need to turn in your activity on Mango. Uh, you can go to the support page here for a list of frequently asked questions. There's also a phone number and a ticket system to contact Mango directly. Mango also encourages its user, users to visit their Mango lab. And here you will find a list of possible future language courses, something that you might be interested in. And I did watch a webinar that said the American Sign Language is a go and there actually will be added to their list of 72 languages. These others are still in uh, testing phase. So if you do have an interest, say, in learning Mongolian, you can send feedback to Mango by hitting View Info, giving it a five stars of interest, and hitting Notify Me. And now I will be interested or notified if Mango does decide to develop a course for Mongolian. And as I said earlier, Mango also has an app available for your personal devices, such as smartphone or tablets. Um, I did it this morning, and it was really easy to sync up my app with Mango on my computer, and that way I can keep track of my progress either on my phone or on my desktop. Another great thing about the app was they have a hands-free mode, which is not available on the computer. So say if I'm um, driving, or I'm doing household chores and I don't have my hands keep clicking to the next screen, it will just run on a continual, um, continue through the unit and I can just listen with doing whatever it is that I'm doing. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna stop with Mango. I've covered pretty much everything. Uh, if you have any questions for me about Mango, please go ahead and ask. Oh, I'm sorry, I did, wasn't looking at the um, chat, so I didn't see that you needed me to turn up Mango. Uh, so Mango is self-directed, or how do you integrate it into your teaching learning experiences? Oh, that's a great question, Nigel. Thank you. Uh, it's self-directed, and when I go speak to classes um, about the language learning resources at the library, uh, I tell them that it's a great source for, as I said, improving their pronunciation, getting into the flow. It, it makes you think it's very intuitive as opposed to pronunciator, which I'm not a fan of and is more of kind of a drill, grammar-based, flashcard-based. I also really play up Mango when I go talk to um, students that are studying, going on a study abroad. So... I tell them that uh, perhaps they already are fluent in Spanish and they're going to go study at a Spanish-speaking country. What Mango, one thing that Mango would be really be great for is say they were going to France for a week in the middle of their stay in Spain. And they just needed those polite phrases of, hello, my name is Jack, I don't speak French very well, do you speak English? Because really, if you want to interact with people in a positive way, that's so very important that you at least make the effort. And if you are, say, a teacher and you're sending, going on a service abroad trip with a group of students, the alternative service experience, international alternative service experience, I know a lot of teachers that have been working with their students in the classroom before they leave um, or the group of volunteers, if it's a volunteer experience, before they leave to just get down the basic phrases that they think they'll need. So. It is, it is self-directed. So you can um, ask them to turn in their uh, activity if you'd like, but otherwise I think it's best to use self-directed. Any other questions? Remarks? Okay. All right, well, real quick, I'll go ahead and I'll show you a bit about Pronunciator. Um, Mango is something that I requested that the library purchase uh, probably about 10 years ago. And since then, we have gotten a reduced price through the NC Consortium. Um, but NC Live recently has made available to all North Carolina public and UNC system libraries a 
a separate language learning resource, you go to all article databases, and this one is called Pronunciator. And uh, Pronunciator is great to have because the library doesn't have to pay anything for it. The taxes, tax money pays for it. But in my opinion, it is not as good a product as Mango. The good things about Pronunciator is that it's not as expensive, so it can be made available to a much wider variety and number of libraries. It actually targets uh, libraries as their main customer. They're used in many, it's used in many more libraries and library systems than Mango is. Uh, but it, we'll just go through it with the beginner course, and you'll see a bit of what Pronunciator is like, and you can compare it with what you've seen in Mango. So say I speak English, and I want to learn French. Welcome to Pronunciator's French courses. Okay, so you... your language journey by selecting an option from the course menu on the right. If you're an independent learner, then the main course is right for you with its flexible organization and fun extras like movies, music, and more. But if you prefer a more structured approach, then select one of the most welcome to pronunciators. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, what you have available, some great things about Pronunciator is they do have lessons geared to the very young child, three to six years old, and then the seven to 12 year old. They also have different programs, such as if you're preparing for an eight week trip, and then basically it just goes through beginner's course, high beginner, low intermediate, et cetera. What I didn't like so much about Pronunciator is that if you look at the beginner course. In this session, you'll do the listening exercise and flashcards activity with important phrases, such as hello and thank you. Let's get started. S'il vous plaît. So instead of still being interactive or being interactive in the same way that Mango is, it really is listen and repeat. And in some parts of the pronunciator program, it's basically drilling you on grammar construction. So you'll be going through verbs. It's not a bad program, but for my personal, my, my preferred method of learning, it's not something that um, would hold my interest. Merci beaucoup. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my presentation, but uh, volunteer to answer if you have any other questions that perhaps you didn't ask before or comments.